Namaste guys, this is Anish Mandal. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can get free web hosting services and install WordPress server on it. So let's get started. Free hosting services which are you need to search on internet. Free PHP hosting services. You will get plenty of it. You can use any one of them. For example, extend hosting or which I like services is triple zero web host which provide you add free services with all of the function you require to host a website that zero of price 1500 MB of data and 100 GB bandwidth a month including 99% of them all you just need to click on order now fill the form and done another one is free joy free joy is the best service which provide you unlimited disk space web mail services and unlimited bandwidth including automatic script installer and in this tutorial i am going to show you fijelly.com services which provide you free web hosting services and free VPS services. So here I am going to show you free unlimited host including unlimited disk space, monthly bandwidth and support also. So let's get started. You can open the link given below then click on free VPS services. Here all you just need to click free standard services order now fill the form and click save once you click it will generate a mail for you to activation of your services and then you can create a new host new hosting services so let's see a mail for verification here it is click on it done the mail id is verified now we can create a new hosting plan account select first time initialization might take some time here it is all your details then click on hosting here you will find you can create multiple hosting and in domains if you have your own domain server registered you can host here or point it here we just go to hosting then create a new account for this tutorial I'm going to use hosting services default and then subdomain anish one three seven and then ubox.me then password retype my password type the captcha word and click create it will take a while to generate here you can see the red marker once it's done creating account it will provide you to click your result so be patient done view result just click on it you will get your account you can create n numbers of account and click switch Here it is your C panel of the server we created anish137.ubox. I am going to show you website auto installer how you can create WordPress theme. And here it is all you just need to click auto installer, then WordPress. There are plenty of auto installer, just click WordPress. Then 
where you want to create we just need to create a separate directory it's better to us otherwise we can just reload the default I'll just create a blog as a separate directory then administrator username should be triple one and password and it's seven six five four three two one click install WordPress directory will be overwritten we are creating new click OK and just wait guys oh, this process is also take some time to create it here you can find the details of what we are creating and in future access or what you require to do just copy it and save it in a notepad and here it is MySQL created and the website web host services is going to install done first uh, let's copy the details in a notepad gedit and enter paste it will be uh, used as our future reference to access Let's go to website. Now it's hundred percent done. Uh, we can click view result. It will refresh the page. Here it is. You can create multiple blog and all things also, or uh, and you can just open the link because it's ready. Here it is. You can see my default WordPress blog post and in manage option I can manage it and other way in my notepad you can see the link of admin login panel we can copy it paste it and click OK here we just need to type the username and administrator username and password and unish triple one and the password 9876543321 copy it paste it Login. Yeah, you can then default WordPress. Here you can find all the setting of dashboard. You can create multiple users. They can manage this website. And by default, let's see. There is a title and content for quick post. And this is a dashboard. I'll explain this in my next tutorial how we can use the WordPress dashboard and panel to make website more customizable how we want now there is update so just click at the setting update now it is an automatic updater available so all you just need to click on update now and it will take a while and that time if you go to your blog and refresh it or open it you'll get the message that schedule maintenance check back in May. and when the update is running admin web panel is also not accessible or you can see like that once it's your website is up your blog is up you can just go to that admin panel click reload or dashboard yeah. it shows the option uh, for update wordpress database click on it upgrade complete click on it when you can know sometime you just require to log in so let's log in and here it is our WordPress is updated and new settings and new features can be seen here and still they are showing some updates click on it uh, update automatically security update but here you can see there are some plugins that require to be updated all you just need to select the plugin and things also let's but 
click update for plugin update this website is also going down here you can see which plugin is getting installed and updated successfully and in same time you can see that there is another update is going on plugin update and for your website here yeah, you can see it's still unavailable when there is an update is going on so once your website is up and running you can see your update is finished you can update theme if you want to but let's discuss about the theme first all website required theme so for wordpress you can go to wordpress.org and there is option called themes here you can find n numbers of theme you can download it and install it for your website even you can customize it if you want to uh, so let's download one theme independent publisher click on it download save in our downloads folder I'll show how you can install those theme and as well as on same WordPress panel also so let's see first how you can install a WordPress panel the themes from WordPress panel or you just need to go appearance theme here you can find install themes and click up upload theme here you can search the theme you want to download for example carrot light let's search it's available or not sometimes here you will find only the popular and future themes so it's not a big deal or you can download it from wordpress.org and from here if you like some theme uh, let's choose some theme carrot light is not available and then uh, similar kind of theme let's install this no uh, ah, this one is good just click on install All you just need to click install it will take some time to get initialization and then here you can directly activate the theme you can do live preview or you can return to theme installer let's go back to theme and now what we have downloaded let's install here it is you can see the theme is available for your dashboard all you just need to click activate it or you can click add new theme it will go to the theme manager click upload browse select the theme click open install now theme installed successfully or uh, now just click on activate independent publisher so activate done now this is the your primary theme you can see on your blog just refresh it here you can see the theme is activated and same way you can change the theme by clicking on activate install theme and activate now this is your primary theme it reload the blog here it is you can see in future I am going to show you how you can customize those things create your own what is the plugin 
and what is the benefit about using WordPress. So, subscribe me and thank you.